says that you have a bunch of inventory to be checking on. How come you guys haven't even checked on this yet? Yes, I understand there's time frames, but there's no urgency to be spending this money because there's a bunch of stuff over there which will eliminate half the cost and in this room over here of on this. So there's no urgency to spend because if there was urgency, we would have been able to spend in February. We would have been able to spend in March. How about even April or May? But all of a sudden, you guys are the new board? What's so different about you guys in the past board? You're still under exhaustive efforts, but now all of a sudden you get spend in 10 days? So go ahead. Vote on it one time and don't itemize each item that's on here, and you'll see several more grievances coming. Other note is the first rule that you guys are buying and taking care of your own self is where is the administrative operation process, and you guys need to go buy 24 copies of Robert's Rules of Order because I'm watching. And if you guys had any care for the community, you'd be learning the rules. So it should be on here, buy each of you guys a book because I'm watching, and today you guys have violated the policies because. It's good. Hopefully it is on there. Is it Robert's Rules of Order? Where is that? Okay, so then that item will be heard exclusively. And like I can say, you have K or what is that about? 15, 18 different motions you need to come up with real quick? I'm going to sit and watch and there's a half hour left. I hope you get through every single motion, each individually. We're trying to get there. Thank you. Thank you. Next up we have Elia Guernal. Don't do it. Thank you. No. A lot of this I'm watching and I'm watching and I'm watching you just really, you know, upsets you. Okay? I think there should be a little bit more respect around here. And that should stop and have to stop. The past and the past and why you guys, why, why, why that to stop? Respect. Ethicalness, they already know. You guys, we expect you guys to do it. Thank you. And the money, I don't believe that any money should go back where they could be used. You know? It's something productive, it's something, it's something wonderful for the community. I just, I'm watching, I'm watching, please stop that. Thank you, Mr. Kayama. Next up we have uh, Jenny, get up. Thank you, Mr. Kayama. Um, I just want to say that I want to applaud your efforts to keep moving this forward, and I understand all of you are working very hard and diligently to move this budget forward. So as much as you guys need to spend now in order to become a productive functioning board, do it now while you have the chance because once the new budget comes in, then the community is going to be a little upset at you for using that money when it should be one with me. So if you're able to do it now, do it now as much as you can. Thank you. Thank you. Last we have Yoli Garcia. Hello again. Um, I was not going to make a public comment on this item, but after hearing some of the comments made, I think um, for those, um, I would like to tell board members who are present here and don't know what happened in the past. Um, Dunn told us the money that we had was used for operational costs and elections. And one of the things we had to do is have successful elections. The previous board voted on moving money towards elections, a big amount of the budget towards elections. Okay, and we kept what we needed for operational costs just to bear um, supplies of uh, equipment that we needed to function. Okay, now that we have had elections, and as you could see, pretty successful, we have um, 18 board members elected now, um, there's money left over, and I think we should move forward and spend that money. If that money was not allowed to be used before, that's because it was uh, the board board members who are here, uh, former board members who are here before you, voted to move it towards elections. So please use that money, don't let it go back to the city, use it now. So as stated by previous stakeholder, you don't need to use the new money that's coming in to purchase the items that you need to be a successful board. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's all the public comments. We're gonna go ahead and open up the discussion here. And um, again, um, for the sake of time, I mean, I'd like everybody who wants an opportunity to speak, speak but not, not make double. So first of all, I want to applaud um, both Michelle and Marlene's efforts. I know that they took a long time to go ahead and count everything that was in storage. I also um, want to bring up that 
I know some of the board members brought up that, um, you know, there are things in service, there are things that are here, um, things that are meant for LA 30 to neighborhood accounts are not supposed to be brought back into people's personal homes. So all of this stuff should have been in storage when they were counting it. Um, and they took a lot of time to go ahead and do that. I know that they did request an itemized list from the previous board and they did not receive one. Um, so I also want to keep that in mind. Although they did put a lot of effort into this, I would like to request we make a change um, on item E um, to go ahead and change that to be for Orchestrata um, Audio because I think that they made a, a very a great point um, and I think that their services are wonderful. So, so we could go ahead um, and switch that over or, or look into uh, um, how we could uh, re-budget that money so that they could be in our budget. So, uh, Sasha, uh, I'm so sorry, I'm just going through explaining to them as they go through the itemized list. Which we will be voting on item by item, thank you. And, uh, Yes. 
Isaac, Victor, Nick, Travis, Mr. Travis, Michelle, yes. Ray, abstain. Angela, abstain. Marlene, oh, Roxy, yes. George, Brian, Sasha, abstain. Adam, yes. Augustine, Cynthia, no. Capricia, yes. I'm sorry, who's in here? Who's in here? Who's in here? And Gamma and myself, right? And is it all the people that certified to vote at the same time? Yeah. Only the people that are yeah. certified. So we have um, six yes and two no's. And three abstentions? Three abstentions. Okay, moving on to item B digital camera, digital camcorder, tripod. I'd like to make a motion to um, vote on item B, digital camcorder and tripod for recording and posting meetings um, for up to $1,500. I second the motion to win Charlie. I guess the motion and Charlie is seconded. Um, since we just mentioned the issue with um, our just the radio, our audio, are we going to be um, like cutting this out, or are we going to be? Well, we'll have to see what how the vote goes. Let's move. I believe they know. I believe they know. Public comment. Public comment. What do you mean? All of my items here. What are we basing our prices upon? As a city employee, when we go out and buy equipment, we are asked a lot of times to get free bids on items that we're buying for our facilities. What are we basing these prices off of, and can we make that transparent? Where these prices are coming from, and what vendor are we using? Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Okay, moving on to item C, that's usually based depending on the amount that's going to be spent. If it's a certain amount, or then you need the three bills. Under a certain amount, you don't need the three bills. Okay, Mr. Chad, thank you. We're going to move forward. Um, digital camcorder, check So I'm only going to, uh, there's three people that haven't um, completed the training, so we're just going to skip them. Great, and I'll also skip the people that are present. Please. So, Isaac? Victor. No. Nick. Charlie. Mr. Chavez. Yes. Charlie is pretty much. Michelle. Yes. Angela. That's the same. Marlene. Yeah. Roxy. Yes. George. Brian. Sasha. That's the same. Alan. Yes. I'm seeing. Cynthia. No. Patricia. Yes. And five yes, two no's, and three abstentions. You know, if they're not certified, they cannot vote. Yes, I know. That. You know, I know. You know, Mr. Thompson, thank you. Know, Projector and screen. I'd like to clarify that we know that there was a projector and a screen because we see the empty box of the storage, which we did inventory prior to making this list. And um, nobody seems. We've asked a number of board members. Nobody seems to know where it is. If it turns up, we will. Uh, even if it is approved, we will absolutely not buy it. And if it works, 
But um, for now, we're going to go ahead and vote on it in the case that it doesn't turn out, which it hasn't turned out in the last month. Projector and screen. Yes. Thank 
Yeah, the majority is changing, Anthony, because certain people like myself have not received our certificate yet. Yeah, just in So that's why we're continuing to She can still vote provisionally. You're, you know that. Next, next item. Item. I'd like to make a motion to vote on item D for laptops and an office program for the vice president, treasurer, recording secretary, and corresponding secretary to perform administrative duties for up to $1,900. Second the motion. Move. Public comment. Go ahead. Public comment, please. Kelly, yeah, three to four authorized the purchase of two laptops, and we had an older laptop that are in possession of Connie Castro. So the new computer, the older laptop was in possession of Connie Castro. The recording secretary laptop, as I indicated to Raymond after he was voted recording secretary, is here this evening with a computer bag, office software, and also the keys to the storage container. I would like to state for the record that I never got contacted about three of the stuff, like 50 initiatives that once the new recording secretary was elected to let him know that I would be giving him this equipment. And I would appreciate, Madam Chair, that you please be respectful of community members. We would like to help, but if you're getting sardonic with people, not going to help. Thank you. And I did email a message. I never got a call back. But thank you. And I appreciate that you brought back the computer. And I did get the computer from Connie Castro. That's why the president one is not on here. So we will go ahead and remove the corresponding for the recording secretary. One minute. Good evening, directors. We have relative to items specific letter D for laptops and office programming. Uh, as described by the previous stakeholder, uh, there is purchases of laptops already, and those should be sufficient. There's no need to have a laptop for each of the officers. Basically, what we see this as stakeholders is a, a, like a favor to vote yes, because of course you want a laptop. Who doesn't want a brand new laptop? If they're going to give me a brand new laptop, my hand would be going up too. But there's no need, no practical purpose for this. And we say, oh, well, the stakeholders are not going to uh, are be disenfranchised, so we have to serve the community. Everyone has a computer anyway. You don't need to go spend, what is it, $1,900 for more computers? That's really not going to help the public because you already have a computer out the public at home, on your phone. And I understand the need to spend the money or spend down, but this just doesn't absorb it any sense. Okay? Thank you. Another public comment? To all those votes that are six two four five two seven six two six, not passing. Well, we're talking item specific.